What is up guys? So we got a requested video from one of my subscribers here kept asking me to do this one. So I'm assuming you were um, upgrading from the V40 to the V60 and uh, you want to see the cameras more in detail here. So I usually don't do camera comparisons because like I said I don't take a ton of photos but I'll try my best here and um, I'll show you the stills video and then I'll sort of talk about what I noticed um, at least but first let's go over uh, the specifications here and uh, see what we are working with so for the V60 you do have a triple camera setup say 64 megapixel lens 13 megapixel ultra wide and then you have a 0.3 depth sensor uh, the V60 also shoots in um, 4k and um, you also have a 10 megapixel selfie that also shoots in 4k on the V40 we do have uh, the triple camera setup as well here and we have a 12 megapixel standard 12 megapixel telephoto 16 megapixel ultra wide and then we shoot in 4k and then we have an 8 megapixel uh, selfie and then we actually have a wide selfie on the uh, v40 so as you can see you can see it brings like it opens it up a little bit more so if you're in like a uh you know a group setting and you want everybody in the photo then that always comes in handy LG kinda got rid of it um, you know with the V60 um, but yeah let me go ahead and show you guys the stills you guys can check them out then we'll talk about them Right, here's the indoor video for the um, V40 here. Wait, wait, wait don't leave. <laughs> here's the video for the V40 here. Pretty solid. We can bounce out to uh, you know just a regular. That was the uh, depth sensor here. So 
See, looks good. Now the mic sounds. All right, so we're on the uh, V60, guys. Now, check out the mic and uh, it bounce to the 2X. And uh, we'll bounce out to the um, ultra wide here. So let me know what that sounds like. All right, guys, here is the video on the V60 here. Try to walk a little bit so you can see his stabilization. Sun. Let's go into Birdman. It's 2X. Ultra wide. Back to 1X. You know how the audio sounds here. Hey right, guys, here's the video on the V40. Let's also do a little walk. Let's get a 2x. Boom. It's back up. What do you guys think? Which video looks better. We can't go out to the ultra wide on the uh, V40 though. I'm only able to 2x. All right, some of the stills were pretty obvious which one uh, did you know the better job, but some of them were actually really close uh, from what I saw. So as you can see, starting off with the selfie, um, they both did an excellent job. I really wasn't expecting the V40 to do that good of a job. I'll still go with the um, the V60 here, um, and then. I don't want to talk about that. The low light photo. This is the same low light photo. I turned all of the all of these lights off, and you can see the big difference uh, having that low light software um, on the V60. So if you're somebody that takes a lot of low light photos, uh, you're getting a huge, you know, upgrade there. You can see it's just like night and day. You can barely tell the difference here. Um, another photo that I wanted to talk about was uh, that I actually preferred. I actually preferred this photo on the. Uh, the V40 here, I thought it did a really good job with the color detail. I mean, they, they both pretty much look the same, but I thought that color just looked really great. Like, I, I think anybody would say this is what the more appealing photo, and it actually got the color right. This is way more red than what the V60 was putting out here. Uh, so that was one thing that I noticed. Right here, again, you know, the V60, I, th I thought those were pretty clear uh, winners here. Uh, the V60 overall is just going to give you more detail. Overall, it is the better camera. So if you're thinking about upgrading, 100% will upgrade for the V60's cameras, uh, especially for a low light photography. It just does a great job. You just get more detail. You get a better looking shot. But these daylight photographies uh, or photos, they're really close, as you can see. The only real difference is a bit of a color difference here, which you can always edit in with uh, you know, the app. Uh, this was also a very clear one as well. Uh, the picture of Santana, you can see it's just more detail, as you can see with his fur and everything. Uh, the, v, the V40 did a decent job, but nowhere near as good. Right here, very close. Ultra wide, very close, but V60, again, with more detail and a better color. Again, very close. So, as you can see, V60 is definitely a, a good upgrade here. So, I would 100% upgrade for the cameras. You get 8K video as well, so sharper resolution. Uh, definitely go with the V60 if you're thinking about upgrading for those cameras. So thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.